San Quentin, a maximum security state prison outside of San Francisco, holds serial killers, drug traffickers, and 731 people sentenced to death. To get inside, I signed a form that says if I'm taken hostage, they will not rescue me. I gave up my cell phone, and then inside this notorious place, I got to see something amazing. It's graduation day for a small group of prisoners trying to join the technological revolution that they've missed. Men like Harry Hemphill, serving 16 years for assault. And I'll be returning to a brand new world, a Wi-Fi world full of mobile apps and iPhones and iPads and a lot of I don't know it's for me. Harry, along with 15 other graduates, is part of a first-of-its-kind program called The Last Mile that teaches basic programming to inmates here. They learn to make websites. There's just one problem. This is a pretty typical coding workstation. There's a reference book, a little JavaScript up on screen, it's two monitors. But here's the thing, this isn't connected to the internet. You're not allowed to have the internet when you're an inmate, which means these guys are learning about and studying and even coding for a thing that they will never actually see while they're in the penal system. Occasionally, inmates get instruction via video conference, but otherwise they're cut off. So the program's founders created a simulated internet with the help of a local tech studio. What we did was we created, along with uh, Hack Reactor, who is our partner in this, a program that's self-contained that simulates a live experience, and we downloaded libraries to allow the guys to have somewhat of an online experience that we update on a regular basis. When he gets out, Harry is ready to see the real thing. I feel like I've wasted so much of my time. I want to get out, maybe have a real cup of coffee, a Big Mac, and then I want to start working. You know, I, I've heard so much about um, the, the, the job opportunities, and I believe even at that age, 56, that as long as I know how to code, I'll be employable. But Harry won't be released until 2021, and all but a few of his fellow graduates will be inside for at least that long. In the meantime, the California Prison Industry Authority, which provides basic manufacturing and other services at a price of roughly a dollar an hour per prisoner, plans to hire these coders out to private companies at a price of $41 per hour or more. Prisoners could soon make sites and software, very lucrative products, the way they used to make license plates. A few graduates have already put their skills to use outside. After 19 years behind bars, Kenyatta Leal began a new life at a San Francisco startup. I think I've always had an entrepreneurial spirit. I just used it in the wrong way. I sold drugs, marijuana, um, stole money, you know, robbery, which I ended up going to prison for. What I do have is a very solid work ethic, and I think that that's something that um, people respect. Why should Kenyatta or any convicted felon get this highly specialized education? His new boss, Duncan Logan, says hiring Kenyatta has changed his company's perspective on the whole idea of prison. You know, I think in, in decades to come, society will look back on incarceration and say, what were we thinking? You know, it's, it's, it's just such a bad system. If by teaching them to code, we give even half of the people coming out of prison a better opportunity to stay out of prison, that's a great thing for society. For Harry, it's a chance to be part of a new industry, even if, for now, it's all behind bars. Jacob Ward, Al Jazeera, San Quentin State Prison, California.